What's up YouTube, it's Little Techaholics. Back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to cast your Xbox One to your Android tablet or Android phone. So let's get it in. First things first is you wanna go ahead and go into Chrome and look up one cast. Go right here and it'll direct you to this website. This is for Android, for iPhone, you actually have to pay for it. So this is kind of a free application. So go ahead and click download for Android. Get directed to this site, go to download. I've already downloaded it, so I won't download it again. You know the whole install process and whatnot. All right, so what you want to do is whenever you get finished downloading, you want to find it. It's right here for me. It'll say, welcome to OneCast before you get started. There are a few important things to note. You can go ahead and you can read this or you can just read it whenever you download the application. This is actually a lie. Don't listen to that. You can actually use the Xbox One controller on your Android tablet and your Android phone and I'll show you that. All right, so you get directed to this screen. And this is actually nothing. I mean, you can be able to use the on-screen controls. I'm actually gonna show you how everything works. So on your Xbox, I didn't really do anything. So we don't need to go over to that selection. You just make sure that you're signed into your account. So you just go to back, go to register my Xbox. This will pop up, but I mean, obviously, you know, if you're if you don't have a PS4, then this wouldn't have anything to do with you. So go to register my Xbox One, and then make sure that you're on the same network as your Xbox, so it can actually recognize your your gamer tag and all that stuff. Go to log in. I'm gonna skip this part just so y'all don't see it or see me log in. All right, whenever, it's, whenever you get done logging in, it'll say registering your Xbox One, please wait. Now will say Xbox One is not registered. And what I would do before you would even start all this stuff is just go here, go into settings, go into settings, go into stretch display. Uh, the on-screen controller can be set to auto or whatever you want it to do. So everything else is just pretty much all the application doing the work. So you just go to play. So there you go. Make sure that you do have a good stable Wi-Fi connection. I would use 5G, honestly, or like the five gigahertz. But you see how this is working. I'm doing the controller up and down and it's going. If you use the on-screen controller, it actually works as well. As you can tell, I'm pressing on it and you can see that it's moving. So right trigger, left trigger, and all that stuff is working. So if I go down here and if I press like how I would on the controller, see how it goes back. And I am not using the controller. As you can tell, I'm just using the on-screen controls. So if you want to connect your Xbox controller to your tablet or to your phone, you would just go into Bluetooth, Oops, sorry, go into Bluetooth, and then you would hold down the sync button on your Xbox controller. You would see it pop up right here. Let's go to pairing. And it's paired. Go to done. And then now it's connected and you can actually use it on your tablet. 
And the way that you know that this is actually connected to my tablet is if I press the home button on the Xbox, it'll send me back home. So that's really cool. Go back to play. Another thing to note about this too is that I don't know, I don't believe that it will work. Like if you have your Xbox controller connected to the phone or to the tablet, I don't know if you could still chat with your friends on Xbox Live. I'm not too sure about that. I think that you have to have your controller still connected to the Xbox for that to work. But you can go anywhere in the house. So you can go like in another room, like the living room, the kitchen. You can go outside if you have a far enough extension between your Wi-Fi and your tablet or your phone. You can actually be able to continue to play your game like anywhere that you're going. So that's really cool. And um, I'm going to try to play a little bit of Black Ops just so y'all can see that it does work. I'm not too sure uh, how this is going to work or how it's going to sound or anything like that. Just because of the fact that my internet here is kind of laggy. So as you can tell, I don't know if y'all can hear this or not. And I'm not trying to turn it up too loud because I don't want to blotch y'all's ears. But this is coming through the tablet the audio is. So you can basically use this as a portable Xbox, in other words. What's pretty cool too is that if you have a MOGA controller, you can actually connect your MOGA controller, you download uh, an application called Octopus, and you can actually use the MOGA controller to operate this. So you can pretty much have your phone in the MOGA controller and you can walk around with it and play it. So that's really nice to know too. Like I said, this is like really, really buggy internet connection. So. Probably gonna die because. <laughs> yeah, so you can see how it's like acting up a little bit. Like I said, my bad, but if you have a better internet connection you can actually do more with it i was playing it uh, i was playing the same thing the other day with my cousin at my uncle's house and he has like the bright house internet and it ran really good so you just got to make sure that you have really good connection and all that stuff for it to actually run very well but um as you can see it's working it's working fine just make sure that you have a good connection. Make sure that you're on 5G. And the way that you can tell that is that your your uh, your Wi-Fi band, it'll say 2G and then 5G. Most of the time, you'll be connected to 2G. And then other times, you'll be, you can see that there's a 5G connection. And, um, you know, if you have any questions or any comments, go ahead and leave a comment in this selection. And as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.